In today's video, we're gonna go through some really interesting Blender courses created by the talented artist Tiansculpt, a popular character artist and a well-known Blender YouTuber, which I'm sure most of you guys have heard about at some point. These courses can serve as both a gateway into sculpting, modeling or texturing, but also to have the opportunity to learn some of the advanced techniques of an artist at this level or even it can be your starting point to learn Blender. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Right off the bat, let's start with the Master Sculpting Heads course. So anyone who has attempted to sculpt heads before knows how hard and complex it can be, especially if you want to learn this skill effectively. Believe me, I've tried it and let's just say my first time didn't go as smooth as I wanted it to be. Okay, let's be honest, it was awful. So to avoid having a terrible experience at the start, this course can serve as a perfect starting point to learn the secrets behind the art of sculpting both male and female faces. Well, but how do you do that? What's important to note is that there are two versions of this course. The first is the basic version, where you can have access to more than six hours of learning content. This contains a lot of valuable knowledge about the human anatomy to improve your understanding of it and to learn the difference between the male and female faces, as well as real-time sculpting exercises, step-by-step -step tutorials, and many tips on how to sculpt hats. To achieve that, the course was divided into three chapters. In the first one, Yen Sculpts covers the theory aspect of sculpting and the most essential topics about it such as the most important skull bones for artists, proportions and head tips, and male versus female head comparison. Following that, you will go to the practical side in the next chapters, you know, the actual sculpting process, where in the first chapter, you will learn how to model a male head, then a female head in the third chapter. But you see, this was not just a mere coincidence, but rather a strategic placement since it is generally accepted that female heads are harder to master, so I would suggest starting with the male section first, to get more comfortable with the process. When it comes to the ultimate version, you can get the entirety of the basic version in addition to loads of other content, such as stylized male bust, face feature exercises, and a dragon bust. Pretty cool stuff, right? Now with more sculpting, let's jump to a course called Anatomy and Form in Blender. I mean the title it's kind of self-explanatory. In a similar fashion to the hat sculpting course, I think we can all agree that having knowledge about anatomy and form is necessary, especially if you want to sculpt good characters, regardless of whether they are realistic or stylized. That's why this course comes with 6 hours worth of content to learn about the basic human anatomy in addition to proportions, and a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sculpt a character from start to finish. In the first part of the course, you will get a quick overview of the Blender scene you will use and a general discussion of the anatomy and how to set it up, as well as a quick rundown of the sculpting brushes that will be used on the video. Then in the following parts, you will start working on your project from scratch, applying the theoretical aspects of sculpting that you will collect throughout the course, such as defining the primary shapes first and how the skeleton can affect the form. So as you can see with this course, it is very straightforward and goes straight to the point, which can be great as a starting point to get your feet wet in the world of character sculpting inside Blender. Please keep in mind that a minimum knowledge of how to sculpt and how to navigate inside the software is gonna be required to avoid any form of confusion or frustration, because this course only focuses solely on the anatomy and the form part, as opposed to how to use the software. But if you are an absolute beginner, I think the next course is gonna be great for you. From sculpting, let's now transition to the world of 3D modeling, which I think you can do first before doing any sculpting. It can be sometimes hard to learn, especially for absolute beginners, but fear not, because thanks to this training, you can get your feet wet in 3D in no time, even if you have never used Blender or any 3D software before. This course does a great job at taking you in a step-by-step -step journey to help you start in 3D and discover a lot of tools and features and how to navigate the software smoothly. And trust me, there are a lot of things to learn, 
because it spends over 20 hours of learning content. And in contrast to the previous one, you will start from the ground up and learn every small detail, which is gonna help you go from zero to hero, let's just say. So if you are a total 3D beginner, then this is gonna be a great fit for you. And once you get the hang of that, you will get prepared to tackle the remaining of the four chapters. The main topic, I think, and the most important chapter is gonna be chapter three. It is a complete six hour introduction in 3D modeling, where you can develop a deep understanding and a strong foundation of this art because it is really important and it is the starting point of any project. You will learn things such as the modeling tool sets and how to start creating shapes with things like extrusion and insert for example, but also learning how to use the modifiers, in addition to the importance of topology, retopology and other stuff. As for the other three chapters, you will start applying what you just learned, since they are step-by-step -step exercises that you can follow, with the level and the difficulty of modeling increases from one chapter to another. You will learn, for example, how to model a low-poly car, treasure chest, or a ladder. So guys, if you are interested in these courses, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.